Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sim Linda Squad? I am playing Baron Samity today, and the reason is <clears throat> because my boy Patrick Saring, who commented in my YouTube video, he wanted to see Persephone or Baron with Boomba's hammer and Chronos Pendant and the the no cooldown, the you know, the abusive mages with no cooldown. And uh I, originally I was like, I'll I'll do one of them. Yeah, you know. I love Patrick. I love I love my boy P Saring. But um <clears throat> Then I got to thinking. What if I did both? <laughs> it, it, like it, it doesn't like there's no real point to do both, technically. But like what if I did though? What if I just did both? Who's gonna stop me? You know what I mean? I wish I, I think I'm gonna take the armrests off my chair. Because I try to scoot in more, but I can't because my arm rests. My freaking arm rests, dude. Jump and jump and jump and jump. What's my thing? I don't have a thing. I don't have a special. Yeah, son of a bitch. Okay, you're better than me. I did a lot of damage. You know what? That's okay. Because I also do a lot of damage. Alright. I'm pretty I'm pretty confident actually with that that fight. There's no way he can test, so I have Boombas, so. At least I think there's no way he can test. Whatever. I decided to try to be confident and uh, and just burst it, not knowing exactly where he was. It worked out, thankfully. But it honestly probably shouldn't have. I'm going to try to be annoying here and make him lose out on the gold of this, this part right here. <clears throat> All right. Slowly but surely. Get my last hits. This is quite unfortunate for me. It's a little rough. It's a little rough. I have a text message. No, I don't. It's a fucking video game on my phone trying to get my attention to play that I haven't played in three months. Uh, yeah, the early game is definitely rough for you. For sure. The early game kind of blows for you. That's that's facts. I will respond to him. Just give me a second. <laughs> the early game is definitely rough for you. But fortunately for him, he can just spam his ult on every wave. You know, he can ult every single wave. So he has really, really good clear. Like, that's something a lot of people don't understand with Kleena, is that, like, yes, she has to ult to clear the wave, but her ult is on, like, a 30-second cooldown, which means you can ult every wave because you have two charges of it. I'm upset. There we go. Oh, he didn't get beads or anything. That's a weird play. You should definitely go beads. Like, you have no CC immunity in your entire kit. Not going beads against Baron is a surefire way to die. Even if I didn't pull him under tower, like, I don't think the tower helped me too much with that. I think the tower probably hit him twice, maybe three times. And that's only going to do about as much damage as my 2-1 combo anyways. This combo does like half my health. The glow of a candle. I need to be careful about it. Honestly. I got one. I got both. Let's go. <laughs> That's sick. Good damage. Actually insane damage? Holy shit. 
Dude, every single time I play this god, I feel like there's so many gods in this game that I play that I'm like, they're so good, and then I just like never play them again. I do a bear. Well, I have a lot of gods diamond. I was going to say I do a bear and diamond, but I have like 70 gods diamond or 72 or something. Quite many. Quite many gods. Well, that is unfortunate, isn't it? Well, that is unfortunate, isn't it? I don't have the cooldown to, to rotate this way. Never mind. I do if he's backing. Let's go. I guess I'll go Chronos Pendant again. I will say I probably need Breastplate or I will get shit on. But... <clears throat> Whatever. I'll be greedy. I don't care. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jeez Louise. This is I should have got a health pot. I have no sustain. Oh, I have, I have sustain in my two, I guess. Okay. Dude, those minions go flying when I hit them. Um, alright, I am higher level than him, which is pretty much the only thing that's going to keep me alive right now. Because of the fact that I am being really greedy and not going any defense. And he has full transcendence. He could probably kill me with ease. Uh, but... Like I said before, because of my level, or the level difference. Might be a little bit hesitant to, to dive. <clears throat> Alright, he's definitely going defense next. I'm going to go Kronos, like I said. And then after that, I think I'm going to go Poly. I'm basically doing that, that Hades build I made a couple videos about. That is... A free ride the GM and I still believe it is by the way but um I'm basically doing that build it's just it's focused all around auto attacks and auto um auto canceling all of your abilities all right now with Chronos pendant I'm feeling really confident even though maybe I shouldn't okay he missed that so I am feeling really confident oh yo your blue spawns before my red, right? Fuck. Here it comes. Nice, good damage. Amazing damage. I think I just bursted over a thousand damage on that buff. Yeah, I did. That's ridiculous. That's actually so stupid. Well, I guess I do have Boomba's Hammer, actually. Never mind. <clears throat> if I didn't have Boomba's Hammer, that would be so dumb. Bursting 1,000 damage. You have your dash? You don't. Okay. I mean, I figured if he was if he was gonna back like that, like super greedy back, or lazy back is what it's really called. Uh, he would at least have saved his dash so that he could get out of my alt. He didn't, and then he died. The glow. I need about 300 gold. Here it comes. Dude, so much damage. I mean, I I, I have Book of Thoth, Chronos Pendant, and Red Buff. Hello. You know the problem I see most cleaners do, honestly? Is they don't use their wall. They they never go into the wall. That's that's 
like no cap that's actually the problem i almost died to that alt all right go back now oh polly i really still don't know what i want for my uh my second relic like aegis could just be a generalized okay pickup i could go beads so that his uh his silence <clears throat> excuse me his silence doesn't bother me ever but it's already kind of a non-factor Ah. Ouch. Polly. Polly. I killed the alt before it could hit the minion wave. Coming for you. I'm coming for you. <clears throat> Look at that poly go, dude. Oh, bummer. My blue buff, you're mine. <laughs> That's so satisfying, holy shit. Am I dead here? here Run! Okay. I'm alive. Thank you to my slow immunity. Shout out, bad bitch. I really want your phoenix down. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, I fucking missed. Can I have it? Polly. Polly. Let's go, dude. Um, what's my next item? It should be defense. I kind of don't want to build defense. Mm. Oh my fuck. Oh, why are you here? Let's go, dude. Let's go. He went for it. He went under Phoenix. I stunned him and he went for it. I respect it. That's a respectable play. That's a, that's a, I'm down four levels, three and a half thousand gold. My options are limited. I need to kill him. I need to kill him. That's what that was. And I fucking respect it. You putting this pub stomp on YouTube? Uh, I mean, technic technically, it's not a pub. It could, like, it's a uh, it's ranked game. So it's not like, well, I mean, I guess maybe technically it is a pub because all, all ranked games, all ranked games are public, but it's not a pub as in, this is like the casual version of the, like this is the ranked version of the game so it's not really like a, the pub first one. like if it, you were going to say like this is a pub it would have to be not ranked you know what i mean but this is ranked so unfortunately it's not a pub anyways um but yes uh <laughs> i want to get my boomba's hammer online though I also want to get this. Because if I root him. If I root him. Then how long is my root? It's a, it's like a two and a half second root pretty much. So this should hit, right? Because it says 1.5 seconds, it calls down the meteor. And this is like a one, it's like a two and a half second stun. Full root, not stun. 
So we should be chilling with the meteor. Feel free to point out mistakes I'm making so I can see when I watch. All right. I will at the end of the video. What mistakes I saw you make. Like, oh, he dashed. God damn it. Stop. Oh, son of a bitch. God damn it. That thing actually hurts so bad. I don't, you guys got to remember, like, you know, I'm doing so much damage. I literally have no defense. Like, <laughs> my defense is killing him faster than he kills me. That's my defensive strat right now. I could probably have ended the game right there. But I want to get Boomba's hammer online. All right, Boomba's hammer online. I no longer have cooldowns. Um, I actually like this build, by the way. I think what you should do, Kleena, um, I do like this build, but I think Transcendence is kind of outdated with how good Crusher and the Tier 4 Yotans are. With how good Crusher and Tier 4 Yotans are, I think you need to... Um, you need to start one of them. Like, like Transcendence is just a little bit too slow. Especially for, for Kleena, because Kleena's early game is really strong. So, you probably want to start Crusher. But, um... That's one thing I would change with your build. As far as gameplay-wise... I'm kind of just ahead, and you're having to make desperation plays. The matchup kind of... I mean, speaks for itself, right? I literally don't have cooldowns. Like, look at this fucking garbage. Look at this garbage, dude. You just no cooldowns. I just kill a Titan with no cooldowns. It's ridiculous. GG Giga Gamer. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was more of like a showcase of what Baron can do. You can kind of do it the same way as you can with... Uh, with Hades, like I said. Obviously, if you're playing this in a more uh, close game, no offense to my opponent, I don't mean that uh, and of, of, as offensive. Um, GG, man. I'm going to leave this because the music is really fucking annoying. So let me go here. Um, But yeah, so you can, if you're in a more close game, you can swap out the the poly or the chronos pendant like this could be breastplate if you really needed it to be and this could be a defense if you needed it to be but either way uh that's pretty much just the build you want to use as for you Kleena, because you did ask for some tips um like i said i think starting crusher or jotuns here would be better it's a more immediate power spike because you don't have to stack it up in order to get the cooldown or the extra damage um and i do like the blue stone but if you're going to go bluestone, like I said, you want to follow up with something more immediate, right? Like bluestone is not something you pick up for the late game. It's, it's something you pick up for the very early game to help you snowball into a lead that's going to win you the game late. So like bluestone into crusher going to give you a lot of tick damage on each ability and every ability you have does damage. So that's going to be really, really good. Uh, bluestone into crusher or bluestone into Jotuns just because you can be spamming that shit at 20% really really quickly um as for like i said your your play i don't really think much needs to be associated or changed except for you need to utilize your wall more because your entire passive is that you can gank people in the wall and i know it's dual and they can obviously see the icon but you can dash through a wall much farther than you can dash normally so it, get, it can give you engage opportunities or disengage opportunities much better than uh just normal dashing. <clears throat> and other than that, I think your combo was really good. You don't always have to dash in when you hit your two. I, I noticed that when you hit your when you hit your uh your two, that makes me not be able to see you. That makes you like a pseudo invis. You always dashed in afterwards, which makes it very easy for me, someone with a root, in order for or when you hit that two, I just wait for your dash. You dash in, I root you. And then I can full combo you and alt you and hit you with the autos, hit you with the poly, the boombas, all that stuff so easily. Um, so I would recommend using your two. You don't have to dash. You're invisible anyways. Just use your one 
or, or just walk up and use your one. And then if you have a kill opportunity, then dash, but you don't have to use your dash that quickly. But anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, boys, peace.